Yo, what's good killer squad? We're back with another live stream video and today we are going to be showing you guys how to make coins on my Ballers Journey account. I've been actually grinding this out for about a month now. This is a grind. I got, I'm level 32 man, I don't know what you're talking about. This is level 32, I got, um, you guys can see last week when I did this, I had zero coins, I had everything on my bench, so today we're going to show you guys how I make coins on this game without spending a single dollar, and you guys might be saying, d him, man, what are you talking about? You get so much cash from me! Guys, stop it, this is my no money spent, so I haven't spent a single dollar this season, last season I did, but this season I spent zero dollars, so we're going to show you guys how to do it, so first thing first, the main thing you guys want to do is grind, but before before we do that guys let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite coin making guide out of this list and also if you do make some coin out of this smash that like button for that um let's try to reach the 200 likes for this video guys so let me show you guys the first thing that i usually do it's gonna sound super cliche 100 percent I like doing live events. My main live events that I, I will always do is the ball is life. But not just any ball is life. I will grind the NBA lineup one, not the classic one. You can do this if you want and you can try to risk it. But I'm a big fan of the classic lineup one. I mean, the NBA general one. And then you can do the rep rush. It's really good. It gives you almost 1,500. It gives you exactly 1,500 rep points, which rep points are going to be very essential in getting coins. Now, once you do all those ball is life thingy, you go ahead and you go to sets. Let me just, it's going to load a little. It's a, a little laggy a little bit, but I go to sets and there's one specific set that I am a big fan of. So obviously you guys have a bunch of sets here. You, the Pacific team one. The reason why the Pacific team one is really good in my opinion is there's a chance of pulling. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat is um getting a little, little questionable. This is making coins without, you don't even need an auction house for this, okay? But when you grind out these live events, you will eventually get to level 11 like this, okay? Easy breezy. Now, you can get Curry, who goes for like 1.7 mil. Kevin Durant, that goes for 1.7 mil. Blake Griffin, even elites in general are going for 100k each. Now, that's how you do it. You buy them, you put them uh, in the bottom. You put these into the sets, and then afterwards you claim them and you open them. I like opening them multiple at a time. And then afterwards, once you open them, you sell them on the auction house. Now, I have 30 of them that I'm going to open at the end or near the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys my other coin making guy while we're doing this, while we're talking about it. Now, the second way you got to make coins is the objective. It's super cliche, hands down. Every single day, I've been grinding out these objectives. You get a thousand coin here, you get a thousand coin here, a thousand coin here. Here. a thousand coin here you get four thousand coins daily and then you get a two thousand rep points plus you get the other rep points just for doing the head-to-head -head. and then you get 30 cash once you get the 30 cash you do your daily um it's not available now it's usually early in the morning you can do your um your daily uh, cash thing that gives you 20 so that's 50 cash right there and then after it you go ahead and watch these videos i have none left but you can watch i believe up to six videos so in a day you can get almost uh, you can over a hundred over a hundred cash a day so in a month you can get about a thousand five hundred cash is that is that correct no three thousand cash 3,000 cash in a, in, a, in, a, in a day. In a month. 3,000 cash in a month. Am I, is my math correct, guys? You get 100 a day. You grind that out. Is it 100 a day? It's about 100. It's close to 100. I could be wrong. I, it's close to 100. No, it's 30 cash. You get only 30 cash from these, isn't it now? Yeah, I lied. You get you get 1,000. I had originally the right math. The 1,500 cash a month. Which is pretty insane from grinding it. And then after is when you go to the store, there's some unique packs you want to spend it. Do not spend your cash or rep on packs that don't give you auction mode players. So for example, don't spend it on these promo packs. Like for now, they're not worth it. Team of the week, not worth it because they're not auctionable. You want to save it on, save your cash for anything like this. The guaranteed elite player pack, which I also have in my bench. I'll show you guys. You want to buy this because it's a guaranteed 100k for 500 cash. 500 cash, you can get that in less than 10 days. Super easy. Now you're rep points you want to spend your rep points you don't want to rep spend it on use of stuff like this right here you don't want to buy this fast break pack i mean yes there's a chance you'll pull a 90 overall ray allen but you probably will not get it to be honest let's be honest you're probably not gonna get it so not worth it. you want to spend it on a unique pack so sometimes there's the playmaker pack you want to spend on that that's 100 K cash which I have and I've been saving on that and you open those and you bang out some fire pose and then you can sell them out that is the main way that I've been making coins 
for just grinding. This is not even sniping. This is literally grinding. I grind like you guys can see I have 230k. I haven't even been grinding every day. I've been grinding once in a while just doing a live event. Now there's also other ways if you want to get a better overall. There's two ways to grind. To grind the coins or grind to get players. As you guys can see I have been grinding for Paul George, Nicholas Batum and I also, let me show you guys in my team, if we go to sets real quick, I also have the 88 overall James Harden. So that's an easy way. Although you're not going to make any coins off of this, you're going to get an epic 88 overall right here into your line. Grind it out. Make sure you make full extent of your stamina. Never, ever have your stamina um, at, at, at the full max amount. You always want to have close to zero or still take full advantage of because you can get 300 stamina every six or uh, five hours, I believe, or six hours. I'm not really good at math. But you can spend all your stamina and get a lot of free coins, free stuff. Now, we're going to go to the auction house and show you guys some of the filters that I've been using and show you why I was talking about the other... Um, the other way, uh, the other was a ball is life packs are worth a lot. So now if we just, hold on, let's just go look at the elites, all right? We're going to go to the elites of the Pacific, right? We have Lakers, um, Clippers, this one, where is it? Golden State. Who was the last team that I'm forget? Sacramento. Now we're going to go look at the elites available. That's, a, I think there's a lot of 83 pluses available as well. So we're going to type 83 pluses and just look at all these players. Look, Blake Griffin, Draymond Green, 500k, Lonzo Ball, you're not going to play him, but Clay, 850k, Kevin Durant, 3 mil, Steph Curry, 3 mil. Like, look at this, all these crazy polls, Draymond Green, right? DeAndre Jordan, 450k, right? Like, some of these players are absolutely insane. So let me know what's your set that you like to do. I'm, I'm trying to read the chat, but I'm, I'm trying to record a video, guys. So I'm going to read the chat after. And then I'll show you guys some of the snipe filters I've been doing. I mean, it's like the basic one. A lot of people use that. The main one is to buy centers. Gold centers are mad expensive. Like, 78 overall centers. Um, gold centers are expensive. So if you can, anytime you can get some of these big gold players for 10k, obviously you got to snipe. I don't know if you guys know how to snipe. It's going to be really hard to snipe. You get, there's two ways to snipe. There's bit sniping. So right here, as you guys can see, like let's say for example, a Brandon Wright, 5k. Okay, cool. Let me, let me place a bit on it, right? You can place a bit on it. I'm not going to do it because I'm, I haven't checked the price of the player. Like, let's say I want to check Brandon Wright. All right, let's go check right. We're going to type right. It's probably going for like 10k, 12k. Right, 25k, 25k, 20k. All right, cool. Let's place a bid, 5k. Come back in it five minutes later. See what it's worth, and then come back and buy. And I'll prove to you that I've actually used this method as well. Now, another overall is a 79 overall. Again, those are really good one. You check out some of these players. You can do the regular snipe. Let's go all the way to the end and find something that just popped up at the. the let's see, every 10 minutes, uh, five minutes, something drops. So right here. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. It dropped. It's probably not a good price because it is the classic line. But all these cards are actually like very, very cheap. Like actually, this one's probably not bad. Joe Kimler, thirty mil, a thirty k is what I meant to say. Now there is two players specifically you might want to try to snipe. Um, there's Stone Maker, who is a seventy six overall, uh, seventy six overall, who is a gold. He's actually worth a lot of coins. He's 76 overall. You can see he, can, he doesn't sell for that much. He probably sells for 25. Yeah, 25k, 30k. You can probably sell. I sniped one. I won't lie. I have one on my bench. I sniped him for like 3k. You can do bit sniping. I missed the bit snipe early today because I was freaking coming on coming on the stream and I forgot about it. Another one you can check out is Aaron Baines. Baines is also about. He's going not as much as him, but he's got great stats. You guys can see right here. Uh, defensive lineup is the one that we're trying to look for. Defensive, all defensive lineup centers are really expensive. So yeah, he's selling for 10k, uh, probably around 12k. You can get away. You can get an auction like 4k right here. It's a, it's a snipe, right? Like I'm gonna snipe it right now. We're gonna buy 4k. We can probably sell for 8k. You know what? 8k, 9k. We're still making a profit, as you guys can see. Bid snipe. I, I. Oh, let me show you guys this right here. I, I'm on the wrong side. Right here. I bid sniped someone for 21, 2.1k. I said 41k, but I meant 4.1k. Bang. Put him that back on the auction block and sell everything. Now we're gonna go and show you guys that I've been actually opening a bunch of packs. Let me go collect all the gold that I have, and then we're gonna open some packs. Let's go open packs first, and then we're gonna go and go ahead and show you guys all the coins I made from all this stuff. Now we're gonna go show you guys some of the packs we got. So these are just regular packs that I did from grinding, but the elite player packs, we can do that later on. Now these are all Pacific packs. As you guys can see, we're gonna see what we pull. If we pull an elite, we're making bank. If not, golds are selling for like 2K, 3K. So we're at least gonna make a bit of coins off of these gold players. So it's a pretty good grind. Jeremy Grant, I feel like I opened the wrong one. Pacific, Jeremy Grant, Pacific is o not OKC. Izak Zubak. You know what's the worst part about this is I'm probably not gonna pull anything good because I'm recording a video. 
right? Lou Williams, some golds are worth a lot. Again, if you put in 78 overalls, 79 overalls, you're, you're in the bank. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can legit, like, JaVale McGee is not a good pull right there. But again, like, you're, I, I estimate to maybe get an elite every 20 packs. So you got to grind it out. Just getting the gold players is already good because it's, it's it's free money, right? You got it for free. You're just opening packs here and there. Let's get some gamer YT. How you doing, buddy? How's it going? And then boom, Larry Nance Jr. He's an upgrade team. I don't know why. Oh, it's because I have Dirk. Yes, indeed. I have Dirk on my lineup. We're just going to open all of these just to show you guys some of the good players that we can actually pull. Hopefully, I will pull in the lead. Justin Jackson is actually a pretty solid uh, pickup if you're talking about budget. I used to use him before I got the... Um, the Paul George, uh, 77 overall. I think that one's going for like 8K or something like that. Jared Dudley is not a, actually has got decent stats. You know what I'm saying? How's it going, Delshawn? How you doing, buddy? How's it going, the you gamer? I'm just I'm hoping we're gonna pull. I have 30 of these packs, 30 Pacific Division gold. But I've actually pulled and oh, go to my pits. I actually sold something. That's awkward. Oh, okay. The item that I wanted to, to, to I put a bid on. The one I put on bid on probably sold, which is fine. Which is fine. Bang. Okay, Patrick McCall. How many do we have left? I think we have like 20. We got 20 left, man. We opened only 10 of these. We still got a lot of gold. But if we pull one elite, you're you're making bank. Um, like I said, I, I don't know the odds to be honest with you. But every single time we've opened these, we pulled at least one or two elite. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, guys, the odds of pulling the elite are pretty decent. We pulled the Marquise Chris Power Four. We're gonna check out his price after. As you guys can see, I'm not joking. You're making coins right now. You didn't have to pay a single dollar. All you had to do is play the game, grind out. You put pulling Marquise Chris. That's what I'm talking. About. Someone just said I was gonna pull an elite, so that's actually pretty good. How's it going, Big Baller? How you doing, buddy? Omri Caspri. He's actually pretty good. He's supposed to have some good three point stats, but I haven't checked that card out in a while. But like I said, guys, like if you pulled an elite, you're making bank, especially nowadays. Elites are so expensive, which is ripped to my account because you know I can't really do shopping sprees because you know elites are so expensive. But at least we did pull an elite. Like I said, every single time I did one of these big pack openings, I've pulled at least one to two elites. Last time we pulled Tyson Chandler, which is a center, which is mad expensive. Sean Livingston is a 76 overall, which will go more than 2k, which I like. I said make so much coins from this it's ridiculous this is my no money spent people can be like you spent money no 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 this is my no money spent Andre Goodell I'll be okay with not pulling an elite at least we pulled an elite just to prove to you guys that you can actually pull elites from these back-to-back -back Andre Iguodala I don't know if you could like the odds of pulling a curry or any of those guys like if I can pull a curry in this video it would be insane but let's be honest the odds of pulling a curry or any of those other guys Kevin Durant or uh, Clay Thompson we got five more packs I hope I get another Elite 2 Garrison, man. Thank you. What's good? Buzar. We got Caspi in here. We got Caspi. All right. So, yeah, like I said, man, it's it's really, really lit. Like, you pull oh, Let's go. Two Elites out of 30 packs. Julius Randle. That's what I'm talking about. So, these are all power forwards. I'm telling you guys, pulling Elites are super, super lucky, man. <laughs> Thank you, Pato Horse. I appreciate it. If we get another Elite, like I told you guys, like, yo, these packs are way too good. Like, we pulled two elites, man. It's, it's, what's a good mobile gamer, man? I don't care if we don't pull any elites, man. Two elites out of 15 packs. I mean, out of 30 packs. It's pretty lit. Like, that's that's a pack. One every 15 packs, right? And then, obviously, we got to show you guys the, glow ca the classic lineup. Just to show you guys. Some people might want to open some. The cool thing about these is that you can get any classic lineup player. There's a lot of elite classic lineup players. There's also a lot of elite classic players, to be honest, man. What time am I ending? I'm probably going to end around 10.30. I'm not 100% sure. And now we're going to open the other stuff to show you guys. I'm going to collect all my coins to show you guys. Like, it is like a classic line. I'm not a huge fan of classic line because their value is already not too high. I think the highest overall is like a, a what? Larry Bird? Mark Aguirre. All right. Now, when I was talking to you guys about some of the stuff that you can spend, um, the live events, right? Like right here, the Cornucopia pack. I got a Cornucopia pack. We got it for free. If we pull any, any crazy update team. Okay, we got Larry Human. Doc River. Oh! Oscar Robinson! Let's go! Bruh! Like I said, right? Like, you get all these free packs and you open them up, you get Oscar Robinson, who's an update team. I thought it was a Manu Bowl for a second, but yo, that's an update team. And then you got a bunch of other players that you can put into your life. So that's actually really sick and a bunch of collectibles. That was hype. Like I said, guys, like these packs, like you go grind a heck, you grind these live events, you get some of these players. Bang right here, Manute Bull again. I didn't really need him. We're gonna get another classic lineup player. If we can get someone other than Manute Bull, we can use as well. Chris Mullen, small forward, not bad at all. He probably doesn't have the best stats. Uh, it's not bad actually. Decent stat. 
man that is, that is a w like i said guys like coin making guy this is a great method to do it now we got chris middleton which is a small forward now this is a pack that you get from either buying for 500 cash or you buy from the set now this is the andre drummond i would take it is it auctionable it should be auctionable there we go 83 overall andre drummond 500 cash this card is probably selling for a lot now this is also another elite player pack which is either like i said from 500 cash or from the um i should have taken the screenshot but that's okay oh elite player pack robert Parrish, auction book as well it's also an update team centers are like i said worth a lot of coins so we're gonna show you guys in a second we're gonna collect my coins right so you guys can see right now we have what 250k welcome leonis we have 250 225k okay we're gonna go ahead and collect all the coins all the players that we sold um actually we're just gonna show you some of the players that i've actually sold just to make sure you guys know that i've been act i'm not joking i've been like tyson chandler Right, like we got Tyson Chandler, we got a bunch of gold, Lou Williams, we got a bunch of gold players as well. We got more golds, we got more elites, we got Wilson Chandler, we got we got that from a regular pack, which is kind of weird as well. Um, Evan Fournier, like we're gonna go. Oh, we have another one here too. Ooh, Danny Green, like we're gonna collect all of that. Another cool way to make coins that I did not mention is that you can actually open packs and make coins. It's a gamble. Don't get it twisted. It's a gamble, but if you actually make coins. Like if you open some fire, you'll be you'll be it's it's a good day. All right, auctions. Let's go. You ready? We had 225k. After we collect all of this, I'm hoping that we can get close to a million. I just want to show you guys that this is how I've been making coins. No money spent. Like, and if I can get to a million on my own, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Like it's easy. Just gotta grind. I'm collecting all these auction boys. It's almost like a selling a bench. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I got a bid. All right. Oh, we got so close. Someone actually bought it for 50k. Like, I had 930k. 930k is pretty insane, right? But, we, you know why I know we have a million? Because if we look at our bench, let's just look at our bench, all right, real quick. Let's just look at our bench. Let's look at our bench, okay? View all items, right? Look look what we have on our bench. We have, what well, James Harden, but Oscar Robinson, right? Andre Drummond, Robert Parrish, Marquise Chris, Chris Middleton, Julius Randle. Let's just... Oh, wait, Chris Middleton's not in there, but Marquis Chris, Drummond's, um, we also have the Robert Parrish, and we had a bunch of gold players, right? Like, we pulled, this is only from opening, I didn't even open a single dollar of packs, right? You know what I mean? I didn't open a single dollar in packs. Like, I did not spend any coins. This is all from, like, just opening these things. Now, let's just check, okay? Let's just, I'm gonna type in Drummond, right? Like, let's, let's check in Drummond. How much is Drummond going for? 290, 230K, we'll probably put it for 210K. Probably put it for, yeah, we'll probably drop it for 210k right here. Instant profit. 210k, we pull the drum in. Bang, bang. We'll put it for 210k. We'll drop it to 200k. See if anyone buys it. That's fine by me. We'll check out, we'll check how much, like, um, uh, the other two guys. The Randall, Julius Randall, and Marquise Chris. Like, Randall. He's probably not, there's probably, like, multiple of them. So, we're going to go like this. 81 overall. Like, Julius Randall, it's 100k. I'll, I'll take the 100k easy. Marquise Chris. Let's see how much he's going for. Probably another 100k as well. Yeah. Easy. 100k. We got another 100k. Uh, who's the last one? We got a uh, Parish. Parish. Right? Another another 100k, right? Uh, 120k? Yes, sir. 120k? 130k. I put him 130k. You're making bank right here. Look how much coins we just made. We just made so much coins. And don't forget about all the gold players we have, right? We still have a bunch of gold players, right? It's kind of insane, right? Like, we're going to put those two for 110K. Put them at the 100K. Like, it's insane the amount of coins I've been making off of this. Like, bang, post auction. Bang, post auction. As you guys see, I'm just going to show you guys some pack. You might be lucky. You might actually pull an elite. I, I'm not sure if we're going to pull one because the odds are not. It's generally not in your favor to open packs. But if you pull an elite, right, 100K in elite. Elites are going for 100K minimum now. So... You can bank off of that. I forgot to mention that before, but like it is is all right. Ooh, Danny Green, 79 overall. We're making coin back. 79 overalls are worth it. So right here, as you guys can see, Danny Green is probably going for like 12k, uh, minimum 10k. So right there, already making some coins back. You can even buy probably go up to 20k, 30k, especially shooting guards as well. And right here, we're not we're, we're losing coins. We're gonna open until we got 900k. Then we're gonna open all the coins worth of uh, all the packs coins worth of packs on Thursday for another baller journey and uh, Josh Jackson all right last pack let's see what we can get something pulled a Westbrook yesterday nice man that's pretty lucky man how's it going Austin Hart 
All right, bang. Let's see what we get here. 79.5, lol, dang. So, yeah, that was it for this one. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if this was helpful for you guys and which one was your favorite method. Mine is still going to be opening those Ballas Life Packs. As you guys can see, 30 packs, two elites, bank. That's money. That's 200K instant money, as you guys can see, in Elite Player Packs. If you can buy one of these, I wish I could. I'm missing 60 cash. It's so sad. I'm, tomorrow, hopefully, please stay on so that it will be so I can get one more of them. Um, if you want to see my latest videos, give me on the right side of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make videos on it daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.